Hello to everyone who's watching this footage. It's Leviathan here, and I decided to make a new footage at this very moment because I don't want to leave you guys hanging when I get past the two-week mark. In the previous footage, I told you about Madame Shear's trademark enemy, Tyranitar. But just like all intended heroes, they have some varieties when it comes to enemies and rivals and such. This storyline I'm going to tell you about is about a villain known as Raprugon. And I hope you guys could be able to keep up with me as I read the story, so that way you could get some calculation of what they're about. And here's the story. Raprugon, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 15, 2015. To start the story, we go across New York City, a few weeks after Tyranitar's first defeat. We find ourselves entering a home that's also a reptile zoo, locally known as Herbertson's Reptile Zoo. We then start examining a young Hispanic woman who this story is focused on. Her name is Fitra Herbertson. She has bright green eyes, long and luscious blackish-brown hair, was wearing luxurious clothes, and had barely turned 18 on that day. She is the daughter of Enrique Herbertson, who was her only parent since her parents got divorced due to financial problems when Fitra was just 7 years old. While giving a baby alligator some milk from a bottle, Enrique walked into the room. Fitra, I have a surprise for you, sweetheart. What is it, Papa? she asked. Come into the kitchen and see, he answered. They went into the kitchen that's also the dining room. He then showed his daughter a small container with a white frothy liquid inside. Well, what is it? You know how much you've been telling me about how much you want a lotion that makes you more beautiful, right? Well, this potion is one that I made entirely out of reptilian enzymes. You want to try it? He finally asked. Okay then, Papa, give it to me, she replied as Enrique, Enrique handled, handed her the lotion. Vitra then used the entire container on her face, hands, and other parts of exposed skin. How do you like it, her father asked. Well, it feels and smells gorgeous. Um, that's weird. What's weird, sweetie? She, he asked her. My hands feel pretty dry. She gasped in shock. Instantly, her skin started to turn into green scales, and her eyes changed to bright yellow with vertical pupils. What's happening to me? She yelled in horror. She tried to walk away. She fell to the floor and found that she now has a rattlesnake tail instead of legs. Before she knew what happened, Vitra had been forever turned into a snake woman. After some shock, she made a discouraged face and looked at Enrique. Papa, why would you transform me into this? She said angrily. I, I didn't know that this would happen, dear, he replied while stuttering in fear. You're the one to blame for this. Now you should pay for what I've become, she finally said. She then wrapped her tail around her own father and crushed both his ribcage and spine, making him spaz in pain. And when Fitra stopped, Enrique fell to the floor dead. Meanwhile, in Blader Tech Tower, Madame Shear was continuing her work until her main computer system, Maya, appeared to her, saying, Sir, there's another problem. And Kimberly took notice. There appears to be some new threat that was taking countless men hostage in the Herbertson's Reptile Zoo. Well, Maya looks like I have to fight someone again. She replied as she went through the teleporter. As she arrived there, Kimberly entered inside and found a group of seemingly drugged men being covered by piles of reptilians. After heading far further into the building, she saw Fitra bite onto the neck of one of her drugged captives, killing him in the process. Who in Tartarus are you? And why are you doing this? Kimberly finally said. Look at that. I have a trespasser. Are you the one they call Madame Shear? Fitra asked. Yes, I am. Will you answer my question? Kim asked her. I used to be called Fitra Herbertson, the daughter of the proprietor of this building. But now I simply go by Raprugon. She then continues. 
Today was supposed to be my 18th birthday if it wasn't for my father to transform me into this. And now I will use my new pheromones to become the most gorgeous woman in the continent, and hopefully in the entire world. Well, Fitra, you have got to stop this. Robert God then started slithering towards her and tried to bite her throat. But Madame Shear slashed her across the face. Outraged of the pain, she commanded the reptilians, but Robrugan, she commanded her reptiles and captives to attack her. Kimberly knocked the captives out and wounded the reptilians. Robrugan then wrapped her up with her tail and started squeezing her. Grrr, Madame Shear screamed in pain. But before she got crushed to submission, she got her blades in proper place and punctured through her tail. Discouraged of even more pain, Madame Shear started slashing Raprugan into submission where she finally won the fight. Consider this as the worst birthday you've ever had, Raprugan, she finally said as she helped the captives escape. That night, Raprugan healed herself by shedding her skin when a huge entity arrived. She then found it was a cross between a woman and a Tyrannosaurus. You must be Fitra, isn't it? She asked her. Well, yes, but how do you know me? And she continued, I'm Tyranitar, the queen of the dinosaurs. I used to be childhood friends with Madame Shear until she forever transformed me into this. We have a lot in common, Robbergon. And Fitra replied, Well, what do you want? I've been trying to find some helpers with my plan to destroy Shear. It will be a team known simply as the Scantly Six. I'm hoping that you will join me. Will you submit? Robert Gaunt then thought about it and finally said, I accept, and they travel together down the dark city streets. The end. Well, um, hope you guys enjoyed the storyline that I just read, and I hope you guys um, forgive me for the typos that I that just came inadvertently. And uh, I just hope you guys are feeling fine and about this podcast and such. I would like it if you would, it's your choice, but I would like it if you would like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's your choice on whether or not you would want to. It's just I want to make sure that my creations have been immortalized so that way I could be remembered for something, you know? I appreciate all of the uh, positivity from you guys out there, and until next time, it's Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine time and such. In transmission.